the racing post Arkle of 2012 and Sprinter Sacker at the moment goes into a league of his own. He's already gone clear by four lengths to Q Card who's giving chase in second. Menorah is staying on. Alfroff has been ridden along the third last. Big and bold Sprinter Sacra led by five lengths to Q Card and Menorah. Alfroff and then Blackstair Mountain and Foyledov is tailed off at the back of the field but seemingly only in second gear. Sprinter Sacra begins to make the turn back towards home. In second place now is Q Card. A length away is Menorah back in third. In fourth is Alfroff as they swing the final turn in the Arkle and Sprinter Sacra is out in front. Q Card is trying to come back at him in second. He's now only two and a half lengths away. Over in third was Menorah who made his first significant blunder racing down towards the final fence. Sprinter Sacra comes to it now. A spectacular leap. In second place was Q Card. He's got three lengths to find and racing inside the final half furlong. Sprinter Sacra, a perfect four out of four over fences. With disdain he wins the Arkle and gives Nicky Henderson his 40th winner at the Cheltenham Festival. Sprinter Sacra beats Q Card. Travelling with menace, Roberto Valtat completes the leading three at the final fence on this line. Sider Grugy with a small lead from Sprinter Sacra. Now just been bumped along to the inside looking for that way through. Roberto Valtat, the leaving Summersby and Sir Valentino behind. They start to swing back towards home. Sider Grugy in the centre against the rail. Roberto Valtet to the outside. Sprinter Sacra. They set down for battle up the final straight. Three to take. Sider Grugy looming up to the outside is Sprinter Sacra. Roberto Valtet squeezed along. Asked for a bit more to the inside. Three from the finish. Sprinter Sacra out wider from Sider Grugy. Roberto Valtat lands in third. Sprinter Sacra moves alongside Sider Grugy who's really fighting. He's digging deep Sider Grugy. The pair nearly level. Two from the end. On the outside, Sprinter Sacra to the inside side of Grugy. They hop over it together. Now Sprinter Sacra's under the cosh and Sider Grugy pulls out a length. Sprinter Sacra's going to need a big leap at the last to challenge. It's Sider Grugy with the lead. Sprinter Sacra's coming back. The battle over the last. Sider Grugy made a mistake. Sprinter Sacra put their head in front and it's a real scrap to the line. Sprinter Sacra getting on top to win the Desert Orchid chase. Sprinter Sacra beats Sider Grugy. What a great race. Sprinter Sacker on the outside emerges with a narrow lead. Now Niggle to the inside is sizing Europe in second. They are still 15 lengths clear of the third, who is wishful thinking. And then back in fourth, races Sanctuaire and tailed off his Titaniano as they now begin to make the turn with two more fences to take. And stumbling there at the path as they were about to make the turn back towards home was sizing Europe. But it was Sprinter Sacker who turned in with a lead, an effortless lead of four to five lengths over sizing Europe in second. In third, Sanctuaire on the outside of wishful thinking. Down to the last and a nation holds its breath. Sprinter Sacra is away and clear. Sizing Europe is best of the rest, but he is scintillating. He is sparkling. He is spine jingling as they race up towards the line. A perfect eight out of eight over fences. We may not see his like over fences for some time to come. So this is four from home, and at the fourth last, it was Finian's Rainbow Q card, Fleming Star, and two lengths away is Sprinter Sacra, and he's about to enter a no territory distance wise so they turn the corner three fences to jump and Q card has regained the lead Q card Joe Tizard now from Finian's Rainbow here comes Sprinter Sacra in the red colors and that was the third last and he hasn't moved a muscle yet on Sprinter Sacra they've got two to jump coming now towards the ditch Q card Sprinter Sacra Finian's Rainbow Fleming Star getting outpaced a little by the leaders and at the open ditch now Tizard is working on Q card Geraghty is sitting most Motionless on Sprinter Sacra. Sprinter Sacra now moves up sides and indeed goes on. One to jump. Sprinter Sacra moves on by a couple of lengths of Q car. These are clear of Finian's rainbow and then Fleming Star. Here's the final fence. Over the last, he's over it safely. He's no one trick pony this horse distance wise. He stepped up in distance today. He's the supreme champion. He sits comfortably.
comfortably on his throne, Sprinter Sacra, a horse of a lifetime over fences. As Underso crosses over the third from home, a slight mistake by Sprinter Sacra, but he has now improved into second on the inside of Special Tiara. A break of three lengths back to God's own as they race into the dip. They have two fences to take in the 2016 Betway Queen Mother Champion Chase and the old champion, the 2013 champion, Sprinter Sacra has sprung into the lead. A slight stumble on the final turn. Here's the second from home. Sprinter Sacra clears away by three. Under so on the inside, followed by Special Tiara and God's own. Sprinter Sacra is over the final fence and clear. Under so is in second. Back in third, Special Tiara, followed then by God's own. But it is Sprinter Sacra. They say they never come back. This is one of the great comebacks in the history of the Cheltenham Festival as Sprinter Sacra is the champion again.